good morning students as you have learned about the alphabet your next topic is sentences do you know what is a sentence a group of words which make complete sense and expresses our thoughts is a sentence it means a group of words must be meaningful i repeat a group of words which make complete sense and expresses our thoughts is a sentence now let me give you some examples for example i knows ge public school in study so this group of words does not make any sense so this is not a sentence the correct sentence is i study in knows ge public school this group of words makes some sense means you are studying in nosge public school so this is a sentence the next one my family love i these group of words does not make any sense so this is not a sentence the correct one is i love my family so this whole group of words makes sense that you love your family is a sentence now you know what is a sentence a sentence which makes complete sense when we speak to someone we speak in complete sentences while writing a sentence we begin with capital letter and end with a full stop now let me show you some more examples for example the peacock is a beautiful bird Sania is good at drawing. So in the first sentence, the first word T is capital and there is a full stop at the end of the sentence. In the second sentence, the first word is starting with capital S and ends with a full stop. Now let us do one exercise. Tick the ones that are sentences and cross out those that are not. Number 1 There are many books in the library so these group of words makes sense and expresses some thought so this is a sentence number 2 ben has a pet dog these group of words also make sense so these this sentence is also correct sentence and they these group of words does not make any sense so we will cross it out next one jane is my best friend these group of words also make sense so this is a correct sentence The next one is is sharp. Here the first letter is small and there is no full stop so this is not a sentence. Next one playing children are the. These group of words does not make any sense so this is not a sentence. The last one apples are sweet. These group of words make sense so it is a sentence. next one types of sentences so there are two main type of sentences number 1 statements number 2 questions so let us discuss number 1 statements when a sentence tells us something and always ends with a full stop questions when a sentence asks something and always ends with a question mark it means when the sentence is telling you something it will end with full stop and when the sentence asking you something we will put question mark let me show you some example number 1 tony goes to the beach every sunday the girl is reading a book here both the sentence ends with a full stop and both the sentence tell us something so these two sentences are state next one 
Which school do you go to? Are we going to the beach today? Here, both the sentences ends with question mark and both the sentences ask something. So, these two sentences are questions. Let us do one exercise. Let's punctuate the given sentences. If it's a statement, it ends with a full stop and if it is a question, it will end with a question mark. First one, the burger is very tasty. This sentence is telling about the burger, that the burger is very tasty. So, when the sentence is about telling, we will put full stop. Second one, where are you going? This sentence is asking you that where are you going? So, when the sentence is asking something, you will put question mark. Third one, the school bus has arrived. This sentence is telling you that the school bus has arrived. So, when the sentence is telling you something, you will put full stop. Next one, is this your book? This sentence is asking you about your book. So, you will put question mark. Next one, tomorrow is a holiday. This sentence is telling you that tomorrow is a holiday. So, here sentence is telling you about the holiday. So, when the sentence is about telling, you will put full stop. Next one, are you coming with me? This sentence is asking you, so you will put question mark. The last one, the teacher is in the classroom. This sentence is telling you that the teacher is in the classroom. So, you will put full stop. So, when the sentence starts from the words like are, when, what, why, where, which, how, do, did, can, will, is, whom, may, etc. You will put question mark because these type of sentences are questions and when the sentence is telling you something, you will put full stop.